define a function of x and you just swap out the n's for x's, okay? So 5x over x squared plus 2. Now we have to check that the three criteria are satisfied for the integral test. So the first thing I want to check is f of x continuous on the interval from 1 to infinity? Is it? How do we answer that question? Well, think back when you were in Calc 1 and we were taught that a whole host of functions are continuous on their domain. Polynomials, rational functions, trig functions, exponential, logarithmic, etc. Pretty much everything except piecewise functions. This is a rational function. If you identify its domain, then we know precisely where it's continuous. And the domain for this function is all real numbers, right? Because the domain is dependent on whether or not the denominator could be zero, which is impossible. X squared plus two has no real zeros. So I could say, all right, well, the domain of F is all real numbers. So F is continuous on negative infinity to infinity, and therefore it's continuous on the subset from one to infinity. So that's satisfied. Perfect. Second thing I need to check is f of x positive 